you guys, what's up? I'm sitting in my bed for this part of the video because I wanted to use my computer for a minute and I, I don't have a desk anymore. I got rid of my desk to make more room for my animals, so I'm in my bed now. So I was browsing the internet looking at um, animals because yeah, not, not only do I talk about animals 24-7 in my videos, I think about animals 24-7 always. So I was looking up websites and I came across this this odd one, in my opinion at least. Flora, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Do you know why she did that, Gus? No? Really? Hey, hi. Why did you why did you throw all your food on the ground? Okay. So I was browsing the internet when I came across this website that sells exotic animals. It's, it's very vague, it just says exotic animals for sale, so it has no specific type of exotic animal. So I looked into it, and it's basically like a Craigslist, but for exotic animals. So, so I'm just gonna go through it with you guys and show you what I found on here. Baby female owl monkey for sale, $6,000, or trade for female capuchin. Who, who has a female capuchin, which is a monkey by the way, um, and is looking for a baby female owl monkey and just wants to trade. So obviously there's a lot of monkeys because I guess people want to own monkeys, which is stupid. A kangaroo. So if anyone has $1,200, you can just have a kangaroo in your house if you want, I guess. I kind of want to email every single one on this website and just inquire. Female lynx? Why would you own a wild cat? Like, yes, I own exotic animals, but come on, come on. Where's the line? There has to be a line somewhere between what you can keep as pets and just what you shouldn't. And I feel like a lynx is one of those things that you probably shouldn't keep as a pet. Just a crazy idea that owning a wild cat will not be a good decision on your choice. Do y'all hear that? That's my mouse. Comes with baby supplies? Why would you want a monkey? Why do you want that? From everything I know, I can't say I speak from personal experience, but from everything I know, monkeys shouldn't be pets. What is this for trade thing? Like, do you want my monkey in exchange for my rhino? Like, why do people trade animals? I don't like my child anymore. I'll trade you for your newborn baby. For I want an Asian baby. I'm tired of this white baby. Do you want to trade? See, I do like Tinrex though. This would be something I think is pretty cool, because Tinrex are like hedgehogs, but nicer and they live a lot longer. Monkey. Monkey. Bad Kinkajou! That's a terrible way to get someone to want to buy this animal. Buy my bad album. Watch this bad video. Out now. We've owned this Kinkajou for less than a year. She was aggressive when we bought her. She isn't fixed, but we were told that getting her fixed would help her aggressiveness. She was almost three years old, but bad behaved. We attempted to take her out and play with her so she'd get used to us, but she was more interested into getting into things that she wasn't supposed to get into. Maybe because, just maybe, maybe, maybe because she's a kinkachu and not a dog. She eats, plays, and uses the bathroom. She is friendly when she wants to be, but hates being told no. This is a camel and it says, we can ship with ease. How do you ship a camel? How do you ship it with ease? You put it in a box? I've seen small animals and I've seen reptiles ship before. I've seen fish ship before. They do they come in little bags, they're insulated or little boxes, whatever. But a camel? How do you ship a camel? So these kinkajous um, have financing options available. So if you want a kinkachu but can't even afford to buy the kinkachu, you can finance your kinkachu. Even though you probably should be able to afford a kinkajou if you want to buy a kinkajou, you should probably wait. Because if you don't have the money for a kinkajou, how are you going to have the money for everything else? Elk herd for sale. Have you been looking for 50 elk? Well, look no longer. Leland Cox has all 50 of them for you. I wonder if she ships. Can you ship all 50 elk to my door? Thank you. Let's keep going. Wild buffalo herd. It's the same person. Leland Cox. She has a herd of white buffalo and a herd of elk just chilling at her house that she doesn't need. Don't you just hate when you have herds of buffalo and elk that you don't want just chilling at your house? It's such a nuisance. That thing is adorable. Oh my god. That's like the most random thing to own as an animal. Like... What? 
Oh, that's nice. A dead one. Thanks. That's what I want to Google. How come whenever I look up an animal on Google, like one of the first few results on any animal I look is a dead one? I used to look up hedgehogs, a picture of one run over by a car would come up. I look up paca, I get a dead paca. Google. Like, they want me to be sad. They want me to know, like, don't don't you dare want this animal because, look, it will die and it will look like this. Oh my god, Zabumafu is for sale on here. Seriously. He has a leash and he just sits in the backyard on a pole. That's sad. Come on. Why, why is Zabumafu just tethered to the, a pole? The Kraft Brothers would be very disappointed right now. Why am I in this pole? Should we run around doing Zabumafu things? I would love that. I have a very nice and healthy zebra. Would consider trading for female camel. Man, I'm tired of my camel. I hope someone will trade me for a zebra. First off, why would you trade a zebra for a camel? I'm sorry, but zebras... Zebras? Camels. Zebras? Camels. Zebras. I know, why do you have zebras? How does... How do you get in these situations where you're just like, man, I really don't want the zebra. I wish I would've... I wish I had a camel instead. Why do I have the zebra? You know, sometimes I get clothes that I don't like and I think, you know, I thought that they'd look cute, but once I get it, I'm kind of just like, eh don't really want it, so I sell it online. But a zebra, is, is that the same thing? Do you go about it the same way, where you get a zebra and then you're just like, eh, guess I'll sell it online. Submit an animal you want. Looking for a hard to find animal? I'm wanting a human. Hello everyone, I'm on the hunt for a blue homo sap oh, sapien. I will also consider a I will also consider other morphs that are available if you have any just send pics, lol. I am looking for one that is cheaper, that is cheaper than $8. I will also trade my white homo sapien for a blue one. My white homo sapien is eight years old, only gluten-free homo sapiens, please. I will ship. This is a very, very good description. Very, very good detail. I also found a list from the black market about all of the animals you can get on the black market and for what prices they are sold for on the black market. There's a Queen Alexandra butterfly for $8,000 and there's a chimpanzee live for 50. 50 bucks for a chimpanzee. And then there's um, $5,000 for a dead tiger. 50,000 for a living one. The tiger remains 70,000. Tiger skin 35,000. For some reason a dead tiger is $5,000, but tiger skin is $35,000. Can't you just pay for a dead one and then cut it? I definitely need some fish bladder. I'm guessing these are all like used like for medicinal purposes and like say rhino horns, 10 bucks. $10 for a rhino horn. This is just messed up. $400,000 for a gorilla. But but only 50 for a chimpanzee. So thank y'all guys so much for watching and I guess y'all will see me next time because I won't see you. And yes, I know, I need to announce the winner for the giveaway. So I need to pick a winner and then contact the winner and make sure that they are eligible to receive the item and then I will post the video announcing who won. So yes, I need to do that. It hasn't happened yet. I've had a lot going on. Give me a break. Am I talking too much? I think Keto wants me to shut up, so yeah. Bye guys.